Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, this was totally unexpected. I'm back earlier than I thought I would be. You see, I thought I would be back at least on the 3rd of February, but apparently uh, the fates had other ideas. Now, I know you're all wondering about my opinions about uh, nobody poor audits. Well, that'll be coming up in a video here in a couple of days. And, well, it'll probably be in a video that I won't even monetize because, well, I'll be uh, using my potty mouth in that one. So, in the meantime, I am not going to mention he who shall not be named throughout this video or any other videos up until the main event video, which will more than likely be coming out on Saturday because I've got a lot to put into that video. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. And I appreciate the love and support that I got from each and every one of you throughout this rather dark time in my channel. I much appreciate it. So at any rate, let's carry on with this video, shall we? We find ourselves in Polk County, Florida as this moronic frauditor known as Liberty Troll tries to audit the tax collector's office. You know, this guy has hung out with Joey Surreal Cam and, uh, well, Lana for the most part, and their combined stupidity has rubbed off on him so much that he decides to try this audit only to find himself getting trespassed and arrested. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, Liberty Trollers, we're outside the tax collector for Polk County, Florida. Beautiful flag out front, looks to be in good condition. Also, as you can see, we have the, uh, the Polk County Sheriff vehicle out front. So I would assume there is a or some law enforcement inside. We're just exercising our First Amendment right to freely uh, take pictures and video inside of our public buildings that we pay for with our taxes. Uh, it's under Freedom of Press, First Amendment, and without further ado, let's head on. Yes, let's watch you walk right into a place that identity thieves would love to go into and see what your camera has captured. Uh, I'm sure your comment section is just filled with identity thieves that we really love to watch your videos because you make it so much easier for them to steal all that information that, that they need. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay. Hey, one. 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 Okay. Hey, how you doing? Good. So you're not allowed to record back here because of the confidential information that's recorded. You're allowed to record out there all you want, but unfortunately, you're not going to be allowed to record back here. Hi. Right, what's your name again? My name is Gail Stason. I'm the main. Gail, nice to meet you. I'm nice Zach. You. Yeah, I'm just uh, filming all I'm able to see from public. That's all. Okay. All right, but because there's confidential information shared back mm -hmm. here, you're not allowed to record back here. Yeah. yeah. How okay. you doing, sir? Well, hey. Good. How are you? So, Can I get your name, badge number? Mark Cabana, 6038. Thank okay. you, I appreciate it. I'm going to ask you to interact with me, not him, okay? But we do need you to step back into the lobby so you can record out there. Well, I can record anywhere that's public, right? No, sir, officer. Well, this area really isn't public. Oh, come on now, officer. Don't tell him that. Don't tell him that this area is not exactly a public forum or anything like that. I mean, he doesn't even know about the public forum doctrine. And he's too much of a damn ignorant uh, pinhead to go out and uh, do his own research and find out what that's all about. So as a result, unfortunately, this is going to be your problem right here, officer, because you're going to have to arrest him and find somebody to educate him on that. This is testing. Well, I'm not let's back step, let's step up out here, please, sir. I, I will. Okay, I will. In let's a do that right now. No, sir, not in a minute. You were we'll do you were now. doing so good. Yes, sir. <laughs> Gail, but right? We need to have our, yes, but okay. we need to have our conversation out there, not back here. So I'm going to ask you okay. to go out to the lobby, and we'll talk out there. Well, I'm going to finish getting my pictures and stuff, and then I'll head no, out sir, there. That's I just walked in. Not back here. So you don't have any signage so, uh, that says restricted area. No, I don't. But there's confidential information that's back here. So Every public building has confidential information. 
but we have people back here testing right now. So we I'm not, take I'm not filming them. I'm not talking, filming them. Which can be distracting to them when they're trying to The only reason them. why I'm still here is because you came out and talked to me, which I'm okay with. Well, you can talk to me. That's fine. Well, we're going to talk out here so we're not distracting them. Well, and you're not allowed res to record Respectfully, I'm not going to follow your okay, directives. Please, please ask well, one thing I hate about frauditors is their circular reasoning. And it kind of makes the videos very long. Speaking of which, this one is about 30 minutes long, but we're not going to sit here and watch all that. Nope. We're just going to fast forward uh, a few minutes to outside in the parking lot where he has a conversation with the cops right before he gets himself arrested because he refuses to leave. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Five minutes later. All right, so you can just put John Doe. On the well, on the I'm trespass. Need your correct information for the trespass. You can so. just you can just put my description down. Legally speaking, in the state of Florida, you just put my physical description down. Joe John Doe is a name. If you need to put a name down, but I'm not giving you my name willingly. You don't need my private information to do a trespass. Well, okay. Mr. Doe, what is your physical address, sir? I'm not giving you my physical address either, sir. Okay. Just well. put my physical description. Yeah, that's all you need. Tight right there, sir. Okay. And what's your sergeant's name? It's at this point, pretty much, where uh, this uh, idiot takes it way too far because you know the professional frauditors, they know when to quit. They know when to walk away. You can tell that this guy is a total amateur by how long he stays through it. and uh, And now because of that, we have this beautiful mugshot of him. Oh, wait, did I spoil it for uh, him? Did I spoil that he gets arrested? Oh, wait, we already knew that. How are you? I'm good. I'm S Sergeant Wood. Me yeah, are, are you guys not recording with the Polk County Department? No, sir, we don't. Oh, man, y'all should get those. Uh, <laughs> Transparency and accountability. Talk to about, okay? uh, maybe but I will. All right. I'm just doing my job. Okay. So, what is the situation here today? I was just in there taking pictures and video, gathering content for a story. Before I had a chance to even answer any questions for, from anybody, uh, the woman in there, Gail, I guess she's the uh, manager of some sort, mm -hmm. and she asked me to uh, not go back into the testing area, which I wasn't. I was recording from a public space. You can film all you can see, similar to Plainview Doctrine that you guys have. You can flash, flash your flashlights, people's cars and whatnot. Um, and then he came out a little hot. I introduced myself. He introduced himself. You know, He identified himself, which was good, um, but uh, he immediately grab my arm and because she kept asking that I leave and I politely said I'm not going to leave willingly or I'm not going to follow your directives just because you want me to go out to the lobby when I finish I'll go out to the lobby I'm just I'm ga still gathering my content I'm not getting doing anything illegal I'm not disrupting so anybody's an business you've been asked to yeah but it's from. a public building if it was a private building and, and it was like a manager of, a, of like a bank or something say you can't go back in the era of asking to leave i would absolutely 100 percent have to leave but at you that don't point understand she has the right of the manager of the establishment and business to have you removed from the property not a law-abiding citizen oh my goodness dude that is one of the dumbest arguments that you frauditors have oh i haven't committed a crime so you can't trespass me well i hate to tell you this boy but uh in the state of florida especially that is a completely bogus argument right there because it doesn't say anything in the florida statute about having to commit a crime before being trespassed so why don't you try actually reading these statutes before you uh before you choke on your own foot Yes, if did. I'm disrupting business, which I was, I'm not keeping anyone from doing their job. You're recording in the business that where they're testing and where this is basically personal information, it's tests to do driver's license, it's things like every, that. Every public have building. you ask people in there if you can record them? If I go to Disney and take pictures, do I have to ask every single person well, I'm taking a thing. picture they of? Oh, false equivalence fallacy right out the ass. Well, first of all, Disney World is a... Uh, for-profit tourist attraction in the state of Florida that expects you to take pictures. So you're not going to be kicked out of the place for just doing that unless you're harassing everybody in the area. Now, the government building that you're being trespassed from has confidential information in it because guess what? It's a tax office. The bit, yeah, where they collect sensitive information uh, to 
aid the uh, customers that come in there, you freaking dumbass. See, apples to oranges. You can't exactly compare the two issues because two entirely different things. A place where they are getting their driver's license, they're doing tax documents, they're doing all this stuff. Okay. So this is a different establishment than you would at Disney. So with what I was doing in there, is that a misdemeanor or a felony? This is the thing. They have asked you to be trespassed from the property. But what if so, they were asking to trespass me for having dark skin? Once again, a false equivalency fallacy right out the ass, dude. I mean, you're no good at this. That would be a civil rights violation if they did it based upon your skin color. But that's not the situation that's going on right now. That's not the situation they're investigating. I mean, come on now, dude. Do better at this. Do a lot better than that. You wouldn't let's, enforce that, would you? Let's do this. It's unconstitutional. Let's be logical. Let's be constitutional and let's logical. Let's be logical in reference yeah. to this situation. I'm they logical. They have asked you to be removed from the establishment, which that, that is their right. I'm not breaking any law. It's not a right. They, they have they, asked to be trespassed. They've asked you not to record in there where people are taking the test, where they're doing their documents, things like that. You can understand this is not a Disney World, Bush Garden, somewhere like that where you're going to... I use that example to, to, you know, just say you don't go around asking people if you can well, get their picture. Well, your example my example. And that's a private. Logical. And so, in, in public. Not. So, no, it is logical. I was making the point that at Disney World, if you take a selfie and you got 4,000 people behind you, you're not going to go around and ask everybody if you have their permission to be in your, your picture. You know, this dumbass at this point is just going to have more circular reasoning, more logical fallacies than you can shake a stick at. So, let's just go ahead and skip to the point where he gets himself arrested shall we because this is gonna go on for way too long many many minutes later i hope she's quick because i gotta go to work here pretty soon in a perfect world what should have happened in there is if i was a police officer knowing what i know now what should have happened was gail should have been talked to uh respectfully and say hey this gentleman's not breaking the law. I understand the whole private information thing, however you want to say it, but you know, she can't kick somebody off a of property. You, know, you guys can't, she can't have you enforce taking a law abiding citizen off of public property um, for exercising, for being engaged in constitutionally protected activity. Well, dude, we live in what's called reality where anybody who acts like a complete douchebag such as yourself can and will be trespassed off of the property should the need arise. The world doesn't work like you think it works, dude. Try joining us, yeah, in reality. Um, I've seen it before where officers, they already have been through this rodeo before and they just pull them aside and explain to them like, hey, this guy's not breaking the law. I understand it can be uncomfortable, but you know, this country is designed to be so you don't give up uh, freedoms for security. It's just part of it. Hey, go ahead. did you get the message? Go ahead. Thank you. All right. So you are being placed under arrest. Oh, really? All right, just don't turn that on. Here, you hold that. He's been... What's the, uh, what law have I broken? unlawfully arrested and charged for three misdemeanors, namely trespass, fail to leave upon proper owner order to do so, two, resisting arrest without violence, three, false ID given to law enforcement officer. All three are absolutely bogus, as you can see. I was never released from unlawful detainment to have the opportunity to leave. I never resisted, and I never gave a false ID to law enforcement. Oh my goodness, dude. Cry me a river and build a bridge over it. You were given plenty of opportunity to leave. You could have done so at any time, but you decided to uh, 
be the amateur frauditor and uh, push it as far as you could. Unfortunately, you just didn't know where to push it to, and, uh, well, you pushed it in the wrong general direction and got yourself three new charges. Congratulations, dude! You are a freaking moron! But you joined a good club of losers anyway, so... A loser among losers, uh, per se. Yeah, you, Lana, and uh, Joey Surreal Camera. A trio of losers. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?